This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 1193, Why I'm Skipping Workouts, by Jesse Neeland of jessenealand.com, and I'm Dr. Neal, your host and narrator. Hey there, happy Monday, and welcome back to another week of Optimal Health Daily. This is where I read to you from some of the best health and fitness blogs on the web, kind of like an ongoing audiobook, and always with a bit of my commentary at the end. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend if you're here in the US. Now, if things didn't go as planned and you ended up splurging a bit, forgive yourself and get back on track. One weekend of overindulgence isn't enough to destroy all of the progress you've made so far. Maybe you skipped a workout or five. Let's hear what today's author, Jesse Nealon, has to say about it as we get right to the post and optimize your life. Why I'm Skipping Workouts by Jesse Neeland of jessenealand.com. As I write this, it's been over a week since I've worked out. I might go to the gym later today, or I might not. I haven't decided yet, and frankly, I don't especially care either way. Five years ago, I would be freaking out right now. Over a week off, I'll mess up my whole program. I'll lose muscle and miss out on possible personal records for the next couple of months, and I'll mess it all up. No! Poor five years ago, Jesse. No chill. Instead of freaking out, though, I'm calmly taking stock and staying aware of how I feel. I know that eventually, I will want to work out again. So, it's no big deal to take some time off. I also know that I'm practicing self-care in lots of other ways at the moment. None of them will necessarily make my shoulders pop, but who cares? The self-care I'm practicing lately is more about grounding myself, rooting myself, moving inward, resting, and soothing. There was also a time when I was preparing for a very physically intense plant medicine healing retreat in Peru. In order to prepare, I took stock of certain areas of my life that I wanted to focus on healing. And given the fact that the retreat lasted two weeks, I had to take some time to recover and integrate what I had learned. And that meant there was a significant period of time where I didn't have any serious workouts. And I am okay with that. The truth is, actually, fitness hasn't been a priority for me in a long time. The last few months, I've been lifting, but I can hardly say I've been crushing it. I work out when I can and when I want to. And that's that. Recently, it's been pretty minimal. Some days, I don't do anything at all. And some days, I do a long meditation or stretch session instead of working out. Multiple times, I've gotten to the gym thinking I would lift weights only to put on an episode of Homeland and walk leisurely on the treadmill for a bit. My relationship to fitness has changed, but this is nothing new. It's constantly changing. The thing is, for a while, as a high-paid celebrity personal trainer in New York City, I didn't have to motivate myself to lift. My workouts were my top priority. I was surrounded by the best of the best. I wanted to improve every single day, and my lifting sessions were my laboratory. On bench press day, I would often wake up feeling bummed that I had to wait until 4 p.m. to lift. I never missed a workout, not even on vacation or holidays. My workouts were non-negotiable, and I always found a way. Nowadays, my focus is elsewhere. My craft is being honed reading, writing, and coaching instead of lifting. As such, fitness has become a far less important part of my life. I don't care about pushing my body to its limits or hitting new strength personal records or even looking like a fitness model. If the last month is any indication, I don't even care too much about fitting into my clothes. Seriously. I recently tried to pull on an old pair of compression leggings and they wouldn't even come up past my hips. Right now, ease and gentleness are my priorities. Healing and enjoying my life are the most important. Bracing my yin, this is what matters to me. Does this Show in my body? Sure. Compared to two years ago, I'm a bit softer, a bit bigger, and a bit jigglier. But that's okay. I honestly love my squish and jiggle because it makes me feel beautiful. Plus, I like thinking my body is patting me when I heal some big, scary stuff. I also know that my body is malleable and responsive, and that if and when my priorities change, my habits will change, and my body will follow. There is no end point. This is just where I am right now and it's 100% beautiful, valuable, and worthy of love. What are your priorities right now? Hint, your real priorities are the ones you actually take action on on a regular basis. 
What if you just accepted them instead of trying to force them to change so you can get a different outcome? What if the outcome of honoring your priorities was always, by definition, beautiful, valuable, and worthy of love? You just listened to the post titled, Why I'm Skipping Workouts by Jesse Neeland of jessenealand.com. And thank you to Drops. They have custom cleaning solutions for every need. Stain and odor laundry detergents, dishwasher detergent pods, wool dryer balls to replace disposable dryer sheets, and more. Their laundry detergent pods kept my fabrics smelling fresh when I used them and even removed tough stains, but with a gentle formula that's great for washing natural fibers and even delicate items. We're doing more cleaning than ever before, but it's hard to find eco-friendly cleaning products that actually work. Check out Drops, the laundry and dishwasher detergent pods that everyone is talking about. With over 10,000 five-star reviews, you'll see in no time how great their products are. Drops delivers powerful cleaning from nature with plant and mineral-based formulas to your door in low-waste cardboard packaging instead of plastic containers that end up in our oceans and landfills. Sign up for auto shipments to save big. You can pause, skip, or cancel anytime. Visit drops.com slash OHD and use code OHD for 25% off your first order. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. Sometimes we hear or read messages like what Jesse said and think, wow, okay, phew, I don't need to be consistent with my exercise. Hearing this kind of advice can quickly turn into an excuse to binge Netflix instead of taking a walk, let's say. Well, that's not quite what Jesse is saying. If it was, I probably wouldn't be reading her blog post to you. Instead, she's talking about being so preoccupied with your fitness routine, you lose sight of the bigger picture. There are those that dedicate so much of their time and energy to their health goals that they don't enjoy the process. They ignore other obligations and commitments. It becomes an obsession. This is what we're talking about. But if you struggle with finding the time to work out or eat nutritious foods or whatever, then I would say, and I'm sure Jesse would agree with me, that it may be time to think about it as more of a priority. Dedicate a bit more time to it. But of course, don't become obsessed with it. Instead, enjoy the process. All right, that'll do it for the Monday episode. I hope you have a great start to your week and I'll be back here tomorrow as usual where your optimal life awaits.